Greetings to the St. Stephen's and Christ the King communities. I'm Michael Hall with your pastoral council, and I'm coming to you today in front of the church on a beautiful Monday afternoon with some very special news to share. First off, many of you know that we celebrated sort of a drive-through communion service this weekend, and it was a beautiful and reverent experience for over 600 people, by our best count, participated in that. We're very grateful to have seen so many people's smiling faces behind face masks and uh, to experience the Eucharist together, at least in some fashion. So we thank you for that, and we're going to continue that, but we have some much more exciting developments to share with you via a message from Father Paulson. Greetings to our CTK and St. Stephen family. I'm proud to say that starting this Wednesday, May 20th, at 6 p.m., we will begin car gatherings for Mass in our large and school parking lot. We don't want indoor meetings inside the church to become possible hotspots for the virus. We will do outdoor masses Wednesday through Friday as a test and then reevaluate them over the weekend whether we need to continue that over the weekdays next week. The good news is we will have masses this weekend. On Saturday at 5 p.m. we will do a vigil mass which will be live streamed. And so if you don't want to come, you can always attend the Mass on Facebook Live. On Sunday, we will have Masses at 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and 6 p.m. at Christ the King Church. There will be an outdoor Mass at St. Stephen's at 9.30 a.m. We will follow the strict guidelines given, by, given to us by Contra Costa County. We will have to keep six feet distance between cars. And so between the large parking lot and the school parking lot, we can accommodate 150 cars. The most important thing, you cannot just show up. Starting this Wednesday, we will open up Sign of Genius you have to register and you have to be approved for any of the masses. We can only accommodate 150 cars. Those of you who are not very tech savvy, you can call the parish office and we will be able to release around 20 parking spaces to, our, to those folks. When you are in a parking lot, you are mandated to wear the masks at all time, especially if you down your windows. Nobody is allowed to step out of the car. Second, our restrooms will not be available for use as we are not able to provide you safe restroom facilities as per the health norms. At the, at the end of mass, we will do a drive-through communion. So as you leave the parking lot, depending on in which parking lot you are, you will be guided to places where you can receive communion and safely exit the church. If you are a lector, if you are a minister of communion, you will have designated places for parking. You will stay in your cars and will only step out to do the reading or to to do your ministry and then you go back to your car. At any time, only the priest, the two musicians and one sacristan will be around the altar. We will eliminate the pulpit for the time being. The lecturers will bring their own missalettes for reading and take the missalette back to them so as to avoid multiple people touching the same surface. And you can see we are taking every care. We're trying to keep everyone safe at this time. 
So I'm very grateful for your cooperation in this regard. You've done extremely well for the drive through communion, and I'm sure we can do these masses safely, without confusion, without chaos. Sign up, show up only if you are approved. And remember, if you don't get an opportunity to come to one of our masses, then you can see the mass on Facebook, and then you can come for a drive through communion at 12 noon on Sunday. And these same rules will apply if you are going to St. Stephen parking lot as well. Thank you so much. And Mike, back to you. Thank you, Father Paulson. It's going to be truly exciting to have any kind of an opportunity to gather safely and in limited numbers to celebrate the Eucharist together in the full mass. We wanted to show you just really quick, uh, this will be our altar pavilion, as it were. Forgive me, it's a little breezy right now, so I'm hoping you can hear me through the wind. Uh, we've got Mark Hall helping with setting this up, no relation, uh, but he's an amazing part of the uh, Greater Parish staff here. And we've got this whole parking lot that you think of as the school parking lot and also our other main parking lot where cars will be parking again up to 150 cars and even though we know you may not be able to see the altar very well from inside your car there will be loudspeakers facing each parking lot and that should broadcast the sound sufficiently and you should also be able to live stream the mass through your phone sitting in your car and we will be working on ways to improve all of that so bear with us as we give this a try and see how the logistics work. We'll ask for your participation, your joy, your patience in doing so. And look forward to seeing you and celebrating together. Take care, stay safe.